I'm sure you've heard about Ripley's Believe It or Not. Um, Robert Ripley, uh, almost a century ago, was a guy who would travel to faraway places, distant cultures, and he would collect these kind of amazing, almost incredible um, anecdotes of things that would go on around the world. I mean, just stuff that was kind of hard to get your head around. And then he created Ripley's Believe It or Not, which was a newspaper series, and then Later, it became a television show. It was uh, revived and remade a number of, became an animated show. There are now Ripley's museums around the country. But the idea here is that um, Ripley was able to pull out sort of a, can you believe this type of stories? And they, they generally involved faraway countries, you know, and the stories were a little over the top, you know. A Chinaman ate a python, you know, a, uh, an Indian guy, you know, slept the whole night on some flaming coals or, you know, an African stood on his head for two weeks. So it was all based on the, wow, I can't really believe this. Well, it turns out that right now on Reddit, a lot of people in other cultures are sort of doing a Ripley on America, which is to say that they're exchanging stories on outrageous things that you hear about America that happen to be true. Um, so what is the craziest rumor you heard about America that turned out to be true? This is one Reddit user started this and everyone is kind of weighing in. There's an article on BuzzFeed about it and they give you a few examples, but their examples are sort of weak. They're weak because they don't really represent what non-Western people are saying. They're things, uh, kind of things that are sort of ho-hum, a little bit like, you know, what, Americans got only two weeks off. They're sort of slanted a little bit to the left. Oh, uh, you got free soft drink refills in, in, in restaurants. What? Um, you know, higher education costs $50,000 a year. What? Uh, American um, men are all circumcised. What? So these are sort of, I would call them half Ripley's because they're not really unbelievable. They're not really out there. Uh, in my experience, talking with people who have come from India to America, there are lots of other things. And by the way, I noticed none of them really make their way into BuzzFeed because they're a little politically incorrect. But I want to give a few examples of my um, sort of Ripley um, episodes involving friends and family, you might say. Well, I remember uh, one Ripley that came from my mom was simply the idea that, wow, in America, people adopt highways. My mom was driving with me down Highway 1 in California, and she saw the adopt a highway sign. And I had to explain to her that there were civic groups that adopt highways. And she's like, wow, nobody in any other country would think of adopting a highway. Um, on a less uh, kind of um, inspiring note, um, uh, my brother once noticed that in America, Parents obey their children. In other words, there are many cases in America where the child and not the parent decides. My brother actually once visited a friend of his who happened to be an Indian American, but, but fully assimilated. And they were supposed to go out for the guy's birthday. And my brother was looking forward to like an American steak restaurant and so on. But right before they go out, the guy asks his kid, who's like five, hey, son, where would you like to go? And the son goes, I want to go to McDonald's. And so the whole group of adults takes the brat to McDonald's. The birthday celebration ends up being at McDonald's. And my, my brother's lesson from this is that parents, you don't have to obey your children. Make them obey you instead. Um, yes, in America, we do have people um, for various reasons. Maybe it's partly our prosperity who weigh 600 pounds. And this is a little unbelievable to the rest of the world. In fact, one time some family members of mine were visiting uh, and I was going to introduce them to someone who weighed 600 pounds. But I, I said, I better warn them before because the experience of astonishment on their face is going to be so agog. You know, Indians don't know that they need to camouflage their, their incredulity. They go, you know, they just go, ha! Ah. You know, I didn't want them to do that. So I was like, let me warn you, this person is 600 pounds. So kind of conceal your surprise. And then later a family member told me that, that um, she noticed that this person did not sit back into a couch because you can't control your weight as you lower yourself in the couch. She literally had to fall back into the couch um, uh, with a crash. Uh, and uh, so, uh, you know, there's some, um, you, you, have, you have overweight people in India and all over the world, but not, but not this overweight. Even in France, Western countries, you'll, you'll rarely find a 600 pound Frenchman. Finally, and this is to me clearly the most uh, telling and maybe the most disturbing, we have in America people who live in mansions and make hundreds of millions of dollars and have domestic staff and private planes 
and still think of themselves as victims. Now, we in America see this as preposterous, but try to imagine someone uh, who is growing up in modest circumstances in a favela in Brazil or in Rio de Janeiro or Bombay, and they see, you know, an entitled, you know, LeBron James, or oh, I'm a victim, you know, my, 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 my domestic staff is, is oppressing me, you know, the policeman is pulling me over, you've got, you've got from Oprah Winfrey to Meghan Markle to LeBron James, all these people who live lives of fantastic, unimaginable privilege. Um, and yet, to listen to them, they're like, boo-hoo, I'm, I'm one of the most oppressed people on the planet. It's so disgusting. It's so offensive. It violates people's ordinary sense of justice and common sense. And so there's a certain revulsion. Uh, people admire America in many, many ways. But the disgust of America comes very often from the kind of America that is often promoted in, the, in American popular culture by Hollywood and by the left.